Hello guys and welcome back to a new video. Today I'm right here with a new Mazda 630 2021 model. It's a brand new model. It comes with a brand new engine in 2021 and in this video I will review it for you. Interior, exterior, every single detail about this new Mazda 630 you will find out in this video. Also if you want to see the test drive video I will make another video special with the test drive so check out the other video if you are interested on how is to drive this car car how is the feeling uh, and all that stuff by the way if you're new on my channel just click the subscribe button to see all the notification when a new video will come out now i want to give you the technical data then we will go outside we'll talk about the exterior interior and at the end of this video you will know everything you need to know about this car first of all if you are from switzerland i'm right here at belvag auto you can check them out belvag.ch if you check out the car i will leave the link in the description to the car you can come here test drive it call them ask them if you have any question and and they will help you they are really nice now let me start with the technical data and then we will go outside so first of all i want to give you the price the price of the car this is the starting price of the car is 37,850 francs and the final price with uh, the options extra option you can see right here uh, the car have an extra uh, color lack on the color uh, 1300 so the final price will be 39,150 francs i will add the price in dollars so you can make an idea about the price and now i want to give you a little bit the technical data so right here we have the ambition plus two version it's an all-wheel drive car it comes with a two liter petrol engine four cylinders it comes also with a mild hybrid system that helps the car have a better co2 better consumption so this is awesome the consumption of the car 7.3 liter uh, co2 emission 165 150 horsepower it comes with an automatic transmission with six speed more about that in the test drive video so check them out and uh, now about the options the other options of the car we will start the review and then as we go in the review i will explain you every single feature every single option uh, and all kind of stuff so yeah let's go let's start the review guys let's start by talking a little bit about the key here is the key pretty classic the normal key that you have it also on the previous version uh, also from the key you can open the trunk you can see you have the buttons here on the side lock and unlock and also the button for the trunk so all you have to do is just press it for two seconds and uh, it will open the trunk the problem right now it is that the engine is start it's already on and that's why you cannot do that but usually uh, you can open it up from there and you can see the car come with automatic lift gate so that's something to keep in mind that why uh, it didn't work but usually it should work really simple guys something that i like very much about the mazda cars in general is the quality of the doors so when you hear it when when you close the doors they have a nice nice sound also i like very much these handles the shape of the handles the design it's super fancy they are small they are very well blended integrated in the body of the car and also you have of course keyless entrance you can lock and unlock the car only by having the key in your pocket also the car come with folding mirrors i will show you right now from here electric folding mirrors you can do it from here or the car will do that automatic uh, when you lock and unlock the car that's really awesome also the mirrors are quite quite big and nice it comes with blind spot technology right here in the mirror in the corner uh, it comes with a nice aerodynamic shape really round and, and beautiful shape of the mirror also even the the leg of the mirror it's very nice integrated and it has a nice design led light right here the turning signals down you have a camera because the car come with 360 degrees cameras i will show you when we go inside the car let me make a tour around the car so you can see a little bit better the shape of the car the way it looks in my opinion mazda cars uh, was always nice in terms of design uh, exterior design shape lines really beautiful cars so uh, yeah i don't know if i can say something i like the design it's unique it's nice uh, beautiful lines aggressive front of the car i like how aggressive they make the front first of all i want to tell you that here in the back uh, you don't have any bulb lights so for example here you have led lights on the uh, turning signals you have led lights on the tail light and then you have even the fog lamps are led you can see it right here the reverse light led nice design overall uh, very well integrated unique design uh, also you can see it a little bit better from the back and then 
If you go down here on the number plate, the car come with LED lights on the number plate. Also, we have the reverse camera that works in, uh, uh, in system with the other uh, free cameras. Then you have the CX-30 all-wheel drive. So you know this is uh, all-wheel drive. You have the letters here. Sky Active G, the new system, uh, engine system from, from Mazda. Up here on the roof, the roof spoiler, it's really nice, integrated in black glossy plastic in combination with this red color. It's so beautiful. Always this red color uh, was fit so nice on the Mazda cars. And here, look how nice they extend this roof spoiler. Uh, then you have the brake here, the brake light, LED light, and then if you go down here, you can see that you have also a wiper on the bumper. The car come in the back with six sensors. Uh, those on the side are for blind spot technology, keep in mind. And the other ones are for parking sensors. Then here you have some light reflector and the bumper is quite simple. Nothing fancy here, uh, a black matte bumper. Then you have two exhaust pipes and they are real. And you can see on the other side, the other one. And down here, pretty simple, nothing fancy, nothing complicated. A simple design and practical, I should say. They didn't try to make something crazy. They just make it practical and, and simple. And it looks quite nice, this area uh, around the edges of the car. Now, talking about the edges of the car, you can see that this plastic extends around the wheels here to protect the body of the car. You can, if you scratch it, you can change only these parts. You don't have to change or you don't have to repaint the car. So that's awesome. These plastics here around the edges are useful. And also when you open the door, you can see that the door open with those plastics. So think about when your child or someone that you drive with you hit with the door something and you have this plastic you don't care too much because you can change these plastics you can see from here you can change those plastic very easy and you save your paint you don't have to repaint the car so those are really great idea whoever invented those stuff it's a really smart person and then you have this plastic all over here on the on the skirt on the down part also on the front door the same story, the same plastic to protect uh, the down part of the car. Even this area, it's very important here where usually a lot of rust occur in time. You look at this, look how many plastic, how protected is this area. Uh, you will never make rust in this area here. And also this plastic go all over the wheels, arch of the wheel. So yeah, really interesting. I like that, very practical, very good idea. That extend also here in the front, the same story on the front bumper nothing fancy nothing crazy everything is practical and the way it should be uh, because in my opinion practicality is the first option when you when you buy a car you have to think about practicality and then you have to think about uh, safety and then you have to think about all that uh, stuff that come after now down here you can see you have also the turning signals they chose to leave it down here uh, and also down here is the daylight somehow uh, something that i noticed is that you have led lights on the low bin and, and high bin and also the daylight you have a daylight here on the side a bulb light i don't understand why they they add this bulb light inside there uh, and they didn't add led lights like this car uh, have almost everywhere so yeah that's the thing that i didn't understand then down here the same plastic the same protection down here pretty simple nothing crazy air intakes there and i don't know if you can see it there if i zoom in you have some pedals, clappers, that they are open right now to cool down the engine. But when the engine is very cold, they will close. So they will make more hot, more warm inside to the, to the engine. So they have some pedals down here in this area. And if you go up here on the grill, pretty nice grill. Also in the middle, you have Mazda logo. Behind this logo is the radar for adaptive cruise control, emergency brake, and all that safety feature. Here is the camera for 360 degrees system and here you don't have any pedals actually here the air go in and it go directly to the engine so inside there so that's something to keep in mind other than that in the front the car come with four parking sensors chrome design integrated down here here on the hood it's kind of the hood kind of extended a little bit in the front until here so it's quite interesting uh, they make the, the hood a little bit more aggressive and nice I mean I like it I like the way they design the front of the car. Also up here you have a camera for reading the traffic speed limit, lane assist, all that safety features. Also the sensors for light and, and uh, raining are there. A lot of safety features, we will talk about that also later. Some chrome design around the, the windows on the down part here, some matte 
uh, plastic be between the windows. We will see how much space you have also when we go inside. So overall, um, this is the exterior. It's pretty nice exterior. Now going to the wheels down here, uh, 18 inch wheels. And I think those 18 inch wheels, they fit really good with the car. They are just perfect for the car. You don't need more uh, than 18 inch wheels. It comes with ventilated brake discs in the front. They are nice. They are classic for Mazda. If you look at those rims, the design is pretty classic. Yeah, I think overall it fits quite nice with the car. In the back, you have braking discs, but not ventilated. They are normal brake discs. So that's something to, to keep in mind. Also the tank. It's here on the left side, on the driver's side, the way it should be, uh, in my opinion. Open the front and let's see. Let's see here how it looks. Let's see the engine. Open it up, super simple. You have a manual lift gate here. It's a little bit heavier, this uh, door. And you can see right here, Sky Active G. So you know which type of engine it is. Two liter petrol engine, 150 horsepower. Um, pretty, pretty uh, much uh, perfect for this car, for the size, for the weight and for the economy. It's, it's a nice system combined with a mild hybrid system that gives the car much better economy and, and emission. Plenty of space here uh, for the engine. So they also extend this part of the car. You can see the front part is quite big. So the engine have a big part there. Uh, also the car five stars. Euron Cup rating in case you're wondering uh, the safety of the car it's it's incredible good so you don't have to worry about the safety now let's open the trunk it comes with automatic lift gate here in the trunk so it's pretty simple you can open it up also from the key up here you have a handle you have the buttons to lock and close the trunk you have this protection for the trunk that you can take it out uh, very very simple from here and what I like is that the entrance it's very big uh, inside the trunk and it's quite spacious this trunk also you have some plastic at the entrance quite kind of a flat floor here maybe one centimeter one centimeter deepness but other than that it's quite a flat flat floor here uh, you have an LED light here some storage space on the right side uh, also on the left side here you have under the floor you're probably wondering what it is you can see you can open this up in the new interesting way and then you have some extra storage here also you can see this triangle here uh, and then under this one here you have another storage space where you can put your repair kit and some other stuff so really interesting how you open this up look at this it's, it's quite unique it's a unique way on how you have this floor here yeah you never find this on other cars so yeah pretty unique pretty nice this is the space uh, in my opinion pretty big now let me take this out let me fold the seats and then we will talk about uh, the other stuff guys now you can see one more time the trunk uh, without that protection right there so you can see the size of it so as i said in the beginning in my opinion it's pretty big entrance um, you can fit a lot of stuff here even if you go in holiday or wherever uh, it's quite quite big space now if you want to fold down the seats the only downside that i find it on the car is that you cannot fold down the middle part uh, to have the two passengers on the side but you have to fold it 60 40 so for example 60 and then uh, you fold down this one but once you fold it down yeah let me go in the front here because this seat was really not good um, adjusted i think someone was staying here in the back now it's more realistic like that yes and then right now you can see that you have a flat floor that's a great thing you can see that the seats are completely flat folded and this is this is really cool i mean it's so practical to have this possibility to to fold in a lot of stuff directly flat right there it's just just perfect i mean look at this really really awesome incredible incredible uh simple to fold down the seats and then you can you can carry so many things here here from the side the entrance it's quite big here in the trunk and you can see one more time uh how much space you have right here 
So it's pretty, pretty spacious, to be honest. Uh, the, the quality here is quite good. Um, and I like it, to be honest, I like it. I like the way they array those stuff in order to, to carry many stuff um, here. Now, down here on the legs room, you have plenty of space. The transmission tunnel, it's a little bit bigger. I wish it was smaller, but you have some storage space left there for, for your things, uh, if you want to put your things there. Now, I will put everything back and then we will go in the interior. We will see the space and the things in the interior, guys. Here you have a kind of a big window uh, from one pieces. You can fold it all the way down. Then on the doors, on the upper side, you have plastic in this area right here, but it doesn't look like a plastic. If you look from, from here, the trim, you don't know what it is until you touch it. So that's, that's nice. Going a little bit down here, you have the handle. Then you have soft material in this area, stuff material. Uh, and then you have leather, a blue, nice, interesting leather. Uh, the stitches, you can see it integrated here. Then you have the button, glossy black uh, plastic here in this area. Um, then you have some storage space in the door and then you have a small speaker right here integrated uh, in the door. So overall, it's quite good. The quality, it's, it's quite good. And also the design, it's pretty simple, simple and practical. Going inside, entrance, it's quite okay. Also the space inside here, uh, I should say, it's pretty good. I will go inside now, we will see how much space we have. Then the seats, it's a combination of fabric material. Here in the middle, you can see it has a different trim design. On the side, it has a different one. You have Isofix for child seats, two Isofix, you can install two child seats. Then you have an armrest, two cup holders. So overall, pretty practical. Um, the seats are also nice and wide and you have some side support, side support here. Uh, then on the right side, you have some stuff material here behind the seats, uh, storage space here behind the seats. In the middle here, also you have this adjustable, you can adjust this armrest, I will show you later. Here in the middle, you have two vents and you can see the quality is quite good, but I don't understand where are the USB ports, you know, I mean, where are they? Because we really need them these days. Okay, going inside, let me close the door. Oh yeah, I love this sound. Good quality, good quality. Handle, hook, the quality of the roof, it's kind of in the middle, uh, I should say. Then going forward, here you have LED lights. I like that. And I like also the design of it. Pretty much good legs room here. A lot of legs room, stretch my legs under the front seats quite nice. And also if I look on my head here, I have four or five fingers without any problem, a lot of space. Good visibility, quite good visibility outside as well. And also the position on the seat is not the perfect position, at least for me. I have 173 centimeter, by the way. It's not the perfect one, but it's okay. I mean, I can sit here without any problem. The thing is that this seat, make you have your back straight. I mean, you know, when we stay like that, we have problem in the future with our back, you know, and we have to stay straight. And those seats somehow make you stay straight. And this is a good thing, not so comfy, but it's a good thing. Now, big center tunnel in the middle. Up here on the head, I have four fingers. Yes, no bad. On the legs, four, almost four, four and, and a little bit. So overall, not bad, to be honest. Stretch my hand, almost, yes. So that means three people can stay here uh, for short, medium trips without any problem. And to be honest, it's quite comfortable here in the middle. Actually, I like more here in the middle than on the side, me personally. I don't know, I like it, it's nice here. Good, let's go forward. We will go in the front, guys. We will talk about uh, the multimedia system, the cockpit, the different features in the front right there. But I like very much the, the dashboard design. It's so unique for Mazda to make those kind of dashboards. And I like it a lot of, a lot of good quality also in the front. So yeah, let's go in the front guys. Here in the front, also a big window from one piece. Visibility is great. I will show you a little bit later. You have a small speaker here and then you have another speaker right here on the door, two speakers on the door. This time on the front door, on the upper side here, you have soft material in this area here, soft uh, and nice material. Then you have leather in this area, a blue, nice leather. Then you have this handle in chrome lock and unlock button. Uh, then here you have 
uh, soft material, I should say. It's leather, it's nice blue leather and very nice, very premium. Premium look also, these uh, buttons integrated in this glossy plastic right here. Uh, electric button, folding mirrors, electric adjustable mirrors, lock and unlock the windows, quite nice features. Uh, also quite big storage space here in the door, I like that. Uh, so overall the quality on the doors, it's, it's quite good. Going inside, the car comes with the normal pedals. Uh, here you have some storage space, a small one, and then you have the button to open the trunk. Then you have those buttons here for start-stop engine button. Then you have the traction control on and off. This is uh, parking sensors. This is the view I will show you later. And this is the safety features, activate or deactivate. The car comes with those manual adjustable seats. So keep in mind, you have to adjust your seats manually. But, but they are, even though if they are on fabric material, they are super comfy and they look also nice. They are, I drive the car and they are comfortable and, and very, very nice. And also if you touch it, uh, the quality is it's quite good. They are quite bright. You have side support, side support. So um, overall they are, they are good. Now here you have also uh, on the upper side of the dashboard, you have soft material, the same blue and nice color. Then you have head up display, I will show you later. Down here you have also soft material in this area, guys. Then you have those vents integrated that feel quite good as you touch it, uh, good quality. And yeah, let me go inside. You can adjust the steering wheel manually, up, down, forward, backward, the way you want it. Super simple from down here under the steering wheel. Let me start the engine actually. Here is the start stop engine button. Start the engine. What I notice when you are inside the car and you start the engine, it's incredible silent, the engine. It's perfect, I mean. Uh, you can hear so much noise from outside. It's just like you feel a little bit of vibration, but the noise, it's incredible. Good sound insulation in the car, it's great. A lot of cars pass by and you can hear me really clear. Visibility around the windows, as I said before, because you have a big window here, it's great. Also good visibility in the mirrors, um, good visibility around the windows. Check this out. Also in the back there, very good visibility and also you can see one more time the seats in the back. Here you have a center arm, uh, armrest that you can adjust it the way you want it, just like that. Super simple. Also, you can open it up just like that. You have a big space right here. Also, you can adjust this space the way you want it, just like that. To put your phones or whatever you want to put it here, you can adjust it super simple. Uh, then you have also there a 12 volt port. Let me show you. I think you can see 12 volt port. Then you have a USB port right there. I think you can see it if I go a little bit like that. Yes, very useful, those uh, right there. Then I like also very much that here on the side, it comes with the same blue color with stitches. This leather uh, on the center console look quite fancy um, and premium, I should say. Uh, the car comes with electronic handbrake auto hold that's incredible good then here is the controller for the multimedia system because the multimedia system doesn't come with a touch screen i know many people love that <laughs> uh, it comes just with the controllers here it's much more easy to control different function from this wheel while you are driving so it's super super useful here are the controllers for the media change the radio uh, turn off the the, um, the sound and stuff like that here you have a favorite button that you can add whatever you want and here you have some glossy plastic um, it's kind of a fake carbon fiber i should say effect kind of like a carbon fiber um, effect then you have two cup holders here you have a storage space in the front where you can put your key or your phone uh, right there i think you can see it and then you have another usb port too right there so very useful i love it the car comes with six speed automatic transmission with this stick I hope in the future Mazda also come with something like a shift by wire transmission, something small and nice right there. Uh, but other than that, it's quite nice. It's, it's okay. Uh, then you have here a kind of a sport mode. You can activate the sport mode from here or you can turn it off. So you don't have many driving modes. You have two driving modes. Sport on, you can see it on the screen or sport off. Then, um, yeah, pretty much this is all. Um, that I can show you here in the middle. Going a little bit forward, here you have the climatic system. 
I like it very much. A lot of physical button, simplicity is here. You can turn on, turn off, super easy. Synchronize, you have heated free position, heated seats, and also you have heated steering wheel right here. Yes, actually, let me close it. Heated steering wheel button is right here. Heated seats, as you can see, uh, pretty nice, pretty simple. Uh, I like also very nice the, the vents, the way they integrate it here in the dash. I think it makes a lot of sense and it looks really good. The glow box, it's quite big. I should say it's quite huge. Uh, a lot of space in the glow box there. I like the fact that here you have soft material leather. I think it's leather. And then also up here, soft material with blue. Look how nice they integrate it with the door. Uh, blue stitches also, they integrate the multimedia system right here in the dash. Uh, the head-up display is directly on the windshield. And you can see from here, I like it. It's not the same as on the Mercedes, for example, or um, BMW, but still, still, I like the fact that it's not on a glass like this, like in other cars, it's directly on the windshield. And that's awesome. And there you can see a lot of infos. Uh, in the in the head-up display like the speed like the Traffic speed limit like the navigation direction and stuff like that If I go here to the to the steering wheel You can see that the steering wheel it's pretty classic for the Mazda in the last years uh, Good quality good grip the size is nice Also, you have some chrome design you have the controllers here on the steering wheel for the radio and sound and source and voice and telephone and information here uh, if you press this info uh, button you can see you can change different functions on the screen right there uh, yeah the screen it's the, the digital the, the cockpit is not digital it's an analogical uh, cockpit you have a small digital one in the middle where you can change different stuff and you can see uh, different information but other than that guys don't expect something super super fancy uh, it's just simple and many people these days like it like that here on the right side you have all the cruise control and that functions to to adjust the cruise control lane assist the distance all that stuff are are here so keep this in mind now going up a little bit here i like very much this area you have an sos button the microphone you have a glasses support uh, you have also led lights up here and then you have the mirror that it's big and nice and you have a good visibility in the back there here you have also an led light on the mirror and a big mirror great and then handle up here so overall pretty pretty good as i show you from here you control every function on the multimedia system if i zoom in a little bit there you can see how you can change you have the navigation information uh, multimedia system communication navigation is here if i activate the navigation system you can set the things very simple there and yeah it's it's quite okay i should say it's not the best on the market and not the worst on the market somewhere in the middle you have 3d map you have yeah quite 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 kind of everything you need it's right there on the screen guys so i can complain about it then if i go to home i will go to settings on the settings you have a lot of settings that you can adjust uh the things in the car for example uh the i don't know if you can see it so well because the car is brand new it has a plastic um screen foil on top of it and here you have all kind of information system information for example the time the, the language you can change the language from here if you want for example english yes let's, let's go to english change the language and then everything is in english right now and also you have plenty of similar settings that you can change it right here on the screen so for example you have the pressure of the tires watch clock um, that base system information going back you have connectivity settings vehicle settings safety settings sound settings vehicle settings of course you have the door the exterior light the interior light rain sensitive wipers automatic folding mirrors turning signals and all that car settings and then you have the safety settings where you find of course uh, safety alert driver alert systems you can activate deactivate you have the active safety collision avoidance via monitoring and uh, speed alert parking sensors and a lot of safety features that the car come with uh, it's, it's really really uh, practical other than that very simple multimedia system nothing fancy nothing complicated uh, is do his job just perfect the way you should do so yeah 
it's nice. Something that I want to show you also is down here you have this view button. When you press this view button, you can see the 360 degrees camera. So all you have to do is just press it once uh, to see the side cameras. Uh, first of all, it opened the, the all 360 degrees camera. You can see the reverse camera. You can see uh, in every single way you want to see it. If you go in reverse, you can see the reverse. And if you go in for in drive, you can see the front camera. So really interesting, really great feature uh, to have it on the car. I think I show you almost everything about this car. I will stop the engine right now and I will end up this video. So what can I say guys? Overall, it's a nice car. Mazda makes some beautiful design. Uh, in terms of the exterior, uh, on the exterior also some kind of practicality I should say with that plastic around the, the edges of the car that will uh, protect the car in time. You can have the car for many years without rust, without all kind of stuff. The interior, plenty of soft material on the dash and everywhere. Uh, the space in the back is quite good also. Uh, in the trunk it's a lot of space. Comes with this new engine, 150 horsepower. Uh, that in my opinion it's much more practical and much more economical with mild hybrid system it will do probably a great great job so what can i say guys overall i like the car actually if i go down here and i show you one more time the price 39,000. okay for a brand new car an, an suv cross suv with a lot of soft material a lot of quality of course i wish it had some new features here like new multimedia system, new cockpit, maybe a few USB ports in the back. But overall, think about guys, think about what this car can offer. Think about the, the quality materials and think about the price because I think it's a good price. If you wanna buy another car in this class with many other features, probably you pay 50,000 without any problem. Maybe 30% uh, more than, than the price of this Mazda. 6:30. that was the video guys i hope you enjoy it if you enjoy it please like it and share it also don't forget to subscribe if you want to see the test drive with this new mazda 630 with 150 horsepower two liter engine also thank you very much to all of you that watching my videos i really appreciate that really thank you uh, to all of you uh, i hope it was helpful if you have question ask me anything you want down in the comment if i forget something just ask me guys i read all your comments so also guys, if you want to find out more articles, information, videos about cars, check out our website sdadancar.com. There you find tips about how to buy a car, tips about what is milled hybrid, what is plug-in hybrid. A lot of questions are answered there in the website, so check it out. Also, if you want to see all the new videos, check out there on website on my channel as well. I will leave the link in the description to this car if you live in Switzerland, around Switzerland at Belvag, you can check them out. You can see the car, you can buy the car, you can test drive the car uh, if you are around here. So uh, check out the description. Thank you for watching. Stay safe and see you soon in the next one. Bye, guys.